I can't wrap my head around how that could happen. I was like, are you kidding me? A beautiful young mom among those savagely slaughtered by a monster who turns her family's new waterfront home into a house of horrors. We didn't know exactly who or even how many total bodies were in the, the pile that we saw. The sole survivor turning out to be her terrified little boy. He described hearing uh, the gunshot that killed his mother and her saying, please, please don't. Now, cops just have to get the autistic, traumatized child to tell them who killed his family. He grabbed a little doll and he started pounding on it and saying, mommy, mommy. The Brown family had a simple, good, old-fashioned name. And they had enjoyed a simple, good, old-fashioned life down on the farm in Pennsylvania. We had horses, we had goats, uh, sheep, chickens, donkeys, cows. Dad Greg brought home the bacon as an architectural and engineering executive, while Mom Maggie took care of the property, their three children, and all the animals. They were a fantastic couple. They were always having fun doing things together. They were, you know, together forever. Their niece, Amber, grew up like one of the Browns' own kids. I loved the farm. That was like my favorite place. I would go up there every weekend if I could. Becoming more than just cousins, but also best friends with the Browns' youngest child and only daughter, Megan. Megan was awesome. We would always be together lively, loving person, caring person. Megan's older brother, Aaron, says she was more like a best friend to him, too. Me and my sister developed a real tight bond. Megan was the pride of the family, a medal-winning track and field star who would run her way into Penn State University. She did get a full ride from track and field, you know, a full scholarship. But Megan had more than athletic talent and brains going for her. Your sister was a gorgeous young woman. Yeah. Stunning. And my guess is there were lots of guys who came around calling. Yes, try to. Yes. <laughs> yes, try. Yes. One of them, Adam Matos, an aspiring avant-garde DJ, Megan had begun dating when they were both in their early 20s. Well, she thought he was so handsome. <laughs> like just like her type. And she was happy? She was. Would you say that she was ultimately in love with him? Maybe in lust. You know, you meet a handsome man and he's nice to you, so it's her not to like, I guess. Before she knew it, Megan was pregnant with Adam's child. Soon after they met. Right. Megan was said to be thrilled, as was her family, who had just one reservation. We were happy, we were just, we didn't know a lot about this guy, Adam. How did Adam take the news about the baby? I believe shortly after she had gotten pregnant, they split up, so it wasn't much talk about the baby and having a future together in that point. But after giving birth to a beautiful little baby boy they named Tristan, Megan would reunite with Adam for the sake of their child, who needs extra care because he is autistic. And Adam would even move into the Brown family house with Megan and Tristan, with the family's full blessing to give the child a good home. My dad was too kind of a hearted person to just dismiss him in his life. Right. That's my dad's babe girl, you know, and that's his grandson. But Adam would soon start to wear out his welcome with mom Maggie. My mom wasn't too fond of him, only because over the course of time, she would see how he really is. He doesn't do anything, doesn't clean up after himself, doesn't uh, contribute. And Megan and Adam were continuing to have problems. There's turmoil, you know, like she would call him a deadbeat. And obviously a person is not gonna like hearing that, so they would react and there would be verbal fighting. But even when Dad Greg decided to retire and move the family to Florida, there was still no shaking Adam. So what was the decision then? The decision was that Adam could go down with the contingency that he would get a job and eventually move out of the home. And the relationship between Megan and Adam would only continue to deteriorate. This is the, this is the first 
Next, a ticking time bomb is detonated when jealousy erupts into rage. I just came home and my son stabbed with a knife to my throat. He would be very pissed off if she was out with anybody, let alone another dude or another friend that happened to be a male. Was he obsessed with your sister? I would have to say so. <laughs> I would have to say so.